So one of the inspirations for this channel was uh, BigClive.com, one of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, Clive sometimes has a, a beverage, an alcoholic beverage, with his uh, uh, as he's doing his videos. Um, I tried to do that and it hasn't worked out so well. <laughs> I had some eggnog earlier, you know, real eggnog with uh, whiskey in it, and uh, I have trouble getting tongue-tied anyway and losing my train of thought. This hasn't been going so well, so this is take, I don't know, six or seven at this point. <laughs> Normally I don't do multiple takes, you know, if I really screw something up I'll do a second take, but uh, boy, um, it's been a little bit challenging. Anyway, so this is uh, the third of three um, lights I got to try out for the wheelchair uh, fire truck project. Uh, if you recall, the the first one was this style. There were there are four of these. They have a nice they do nice patterns and everything. This is the style I preferred, and they work fine. So this is what I'm going to go with. But I did get two other kinds of lights as a backup just to try out. Um, so I thought I'd do videos on them anyway. Um, so this, oops, it's not screwed on properly here. This, unlike uh, unlike that one, uh, does not claim to be suitable for use on a vehicle. Um, you know, it's not, well, not that those are waterproof, but this doesn't pretend that it is or claim that it's suitable for outdoor use. Uh, this is advertised um, as a security strobe. So the kind of thing you'd see on a burglar alarm, um, maybe a fire alarm, maybe industrial use as far as warning you that some piece of equipment is active. Uh, sometimes on um, like forklifts and things you'll see warning strobes like in a home center. Usually they use blue for some reason on those. I'm not sure why they use blue. Um, and this is actually available in blue as well as red. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, not claiming to be a, you know, a, use for, a light for use on a vehicle, but uh, it is a nice simulation of, you know, kind of miniaturized simulation of a uh, of the real, um, you know, round strobe lights, warning lights you see on vehicles sometimes, like the older style. Um, and if I was going to go with this for my project, I would have ordered a second one and there would have been one on each side. Um, but as it was, I just got the one to try out. And um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm pleased with it. It's uh, exactly what I was hoping it would be. Um, so although I'm not going to use it, uh, you know, it was a good purchase. It was a uh, $4.99. American from Banggood with shipping, insurance, tracking, and everything. So can't complain. And it came quite quickly as well. Um, unlike, as I said, this is the third of three. The square ones were the square ones were the uh, the first. The second one I ordered was back ordered. It has finally shipped. It may even arrive tomorrow. Um, but that one's taken a long time to get here. I ordered this much later, and it came first. Actually, came a while ago, but. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. With the uh, the holidays and uh, uh, my daughter's been sick again and everything, so it's uh, been a challenge getting videos out. So I've had this for a while and just getting around to doing a video on it now. Uh, let's uh, plug it in and uh, well, plug it in I say, but there we go. Just holding it down. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a blinking light. Um, it is to my eye much brighter looking down on it than this from the side. Uh, on the video, it's kind of swamping things out, so you really can't tell the difference. But it is uh, it is dimmer than from the side, um, which is would have been perfect for my application. Um, you know, I'm not going for. Um, you know, I, I don't want anything that's distractingly or blindingly bright. I just want it sort of to remind you of what emergency vehicle lights look like. It's just it's a you know simulation, not the real thing. Um, and as a simulation, as a small simulation of a large. Um, round strobe, it's pretty good. And being dim from the side would be perfect because that's how you'd be looking from it and uh, you know, looking at it. That's nice. Oh, and it is, uh, just in case you're wondering, although it's a red lens, it is uh, it is actually red LEDs as well. Um, which is what I would expect it, but just in case you were wondering. Yep. So um, these are, um, there are 15 LEDs. They appear to be in a uh, five sets of three in series. Um, uh, honestly, I'm not going to take the time to, to trace this out because I pretty much know how it works, but uh, um, but I'll go ahead and explain it anyway. So uh, this, what you see here, it, all the components are on the side of the board. There's nothing on the other side at all. I've taken it off and looked at it. Um, so the blinking is also incorporated here. And that is controlled by uh, what you see here, here and here. There are these three-legged surface mount components. I'll hold it up so you can see it better. Uh, here and here, three-legged 
capacitor here and here and this set of four LED or four uh, resistors rather. Um, very suggestive of a classic A-stable multi vibrator circuit. Um, normally you would expect to see two, two low value resistors and two high value resistors. Um, but that's for the case where you have like, like two things blinking in alternation, like, you know, like a red LED and a green LED and it goes back and forth. In this case, there's only one side being used. So what we have are sort of like low, high, and very high, uh, resistors. So, uh, which is 33 ohms, 10K, 10K, 100K. Um, so I've actually taken a diagram here off of, uh, Wikipedia. Um, and if you look at a stable multi vibrator, there's a probably a better explanation than I'm going to give here, but, uh, I'll give it a shot anyway. Um, so I said, you know, what do we see on the board? We see two, what appear to be transistors and indeed they are, they're labeled J3Y, which is a transistor, two capacitors, uh, and then two sets of resistors, which as I said, normally are matched, um, low value, higher value. Um, but that's because this is usually shown. There's like an LED here, like there'll be one red, one green, and they'll go back and forth. Um, in this case, we don't have this LED at all. So it makes sense that this would be, you know, 33 ohms for this one. This one is actually hundred K because there's no, there's nothing here, you know, it's not driving anything here. And these are 10 K apparently. And I got a little confused about which way these were. I thought maybe it was like adjusting duty cycle, but then I realized, oh, well, there's no LED here. So of course this has to be a high value. So makes sense. Um, so how this works. So in theory, the two halves of this circuit are mirror images. Um, you know, identical transistors and capacitors and resistor sets and everything. Um, even in this case, they're not. But even if there, even if this was completely symmetrical, there's you know manufacturing tolerances and everything mean that it's never going to come up. They're never going to be perfectly matched. So one side or the other will power up first. So let's say for a sake of um, explanation that that Q1 turns on first and Q2 is off. So what is that going to be? That's going to means that um, this is conducting. So power is coming through here, powering the LEDs, and you know going through here basically, right? That means that because this is on, this is being pulled to ground basically. I mean, it's going to be there's a little voltage drop across here, but uh, this is going to be near to ground. Meanwhile, this side of it is being pulled up through the 10K resistor. So this is charging, or like reverse charging, really. Um, because this is charging, and the current is going into the capacitor, so this is also effectively being pulled low. So this is off. This is on, LED is on, this side is off. With this off, kind of out of the picture, and then you see this capacitor here, well, without any, you know, without anything on the connecting this side, it's basically um, both sides of it are at the high voltage, 12 volts in this case. So this is going to, you know, be equalized. It's not really playing any role at all. And the 12 volts can come through here, and this is turned on. So that's kind of our initial state. This is on. This is off. This LED is is uh, lit. If there was one over here, which there isn't, it's off. And in this case, this one LED represents, uh, you know, all 15 in series parallel arrangement. But uh, anyway, so this side of it is on, this side of it is off, but this is charging because this is low and this is getting pulled up. So this is charging. And at some point, this is going to charge up enough that this turns on. When that happens, a bunch of things happen. First of all, this turns on. If we did have a second LED here, it would now be lit. Um, this side of this capacitor is now being held low. Whereas this side of it is being pulled up, so this is going to start charging now. But this is now also being like pulled low by this capacitor, so this side turns off. With well, this off, this kind of equalizes very quickly, uh, and this capacitor has no charge to it. And now we've got the exact opposite situation. This side is on, this is charging, this is all off. Well, this charges up, and guess what happens? It turns this side on, and it flips back. So it, it's it's like a flip flop basically, except it's it's Rather than having inputs for um, you know set and reset, it's uh, it's just based on uh, 
RC timing, you know, resistor capacitor timing circuits with these, basically. So that's all there is to it. It's like this nice symmetry of going back and forth. Each side kind of charges up and then turns the other side on, which turns the first side off. Back and forth, back and forth. So really simple design. Um, you know, no IC or anything, no little microcontroller. It's just very, very simple, discrete component. Uh, a stable mon um, uh, yeah, bah, bah, bah. a stable multi vibrator. Easy for me to say when I've been drinking. Um, and yeah, it's it's a very uh, pleasing circuit and a very pleasing little light for uh, for five bucks. Very happy with it. Maybe I'll find some uh, some other use for it. Anyway, uh, hope you like this. Uh, check back later for the other uh, other light I got when it comes in. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.